What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, on the table in front of us today is a Kevin John Venom knife. Now I actually picked this up at a local shop uh, here in California. Uh, a friend of mine runs a place called Dublin Knives and he had a bunch of these. I have a few of them. Uh, this one kind of flew under my radar for a while but I finally picked it up and we're going to share it today. So let's take a look. So you get a really nice zipper pouch. Um, these things are exceptionally well made. It's very surprising. Let's see what you get on the inside. On the inside you get a logoed Venom microfiber cloth, which is always useful. You get a tool. Now this is both the body screw and the pivot tool for this particular knife. And let's see the knife. Now, this is the Kevin John, <laughs> they actually call it the new concept. Now, I'm not making that up. If you look, oh, we're going to do that. All right, right there on the blade. Below the word Venom, it says new concept, and I'm not sure why. It's not that new, and what I mean by that is this is primarily just a really nicely done titanium and S35VN folding knife. It is a beast of a knife. Um, it's big, but uh, it isn't really that new in concept. But hey, you get what you get. I'm stoked because uh, this is a big thick chunk of S35VN. Uh, it actually has a really nice stone wash inside this fuller and the blade almost looks, well it very much looks like it's hand satined. Um, all this, all everything goes in one direction. It's very smooth. Uh, it's really quite beautiful, uh, the blade in person. The uh, scales are milled titanium. Uh, you can't see this very well and I'm not going to get into trying to show it to you, but inside they're milled out for weight as well. Uh, as I mentioned, the pivot and the body screw, this is just two screws, uh, on this are both a very particular shape and the tool does come with the knife, which is very nice. The uh, pocket clip has a ceramic ball in it. It does not spin, but it does allow it to slide into the pocket exceptionally well. And you see this little bump just below that ball? They actually extended the body of the uh, of the scale out to meet the ball right there so that it doesn't fall down into the cutout for the lock bar. That is a really nice touch. <laughs> it has a floating backspacer that runs just about half the body of the knife. The action on this thing is just stellar. This is a great knife. Under any circumstances, this is a great knife. Now, I've said this before when I shared my Kevin John harpoon. I know that Kevin John has a particular reputation. I also know that I don't care that much. And what I mean by that is I'm not out there buying Kevin John clones. I will give my money to the Kevin John company if they continue to make original and unique knives. And they have done quite a bit of that. Now, I'm not suggesting that you do. I'm saying that I will because I like to get the most bang for my buck when knives are concerned. And boy, I'll tell you, this is a lot of knife for the money. Now, let's see what we're dealing with here. Let's move this up a little bit and we'll come down here. We have one, two, three, three and three quarters inch uh, cutting area of S35VN. As I said, it is exceptionally wide. I'm guessing it's about four millimeters, three and a half millimeters thick. Uh, the knife is very light because of all the milling. It is really, really comfortable in hand. Um, I've been playing with this thing since I got it. Uh, this is going to be a new pocket regular for sure. Now, it does have on the lock bar a little wheel right here, and that is in fact a locking mechanism. You have to pull this towards you to release it to close the knife, or at least you should have to. After looking at it for a few minutes, I realized that if you tighten down this Torx head screw, just a little bit, you can lock the thing open. And so all that weird locking mechanism just disappears. And that makes me happy because I don't want to mess with that. Uh, this fuller allows you to spidey flick the knife. It is absolutely, with a little bit of shake, drop shut. I think once I take it apart, this is on multi-row bearings. I think once I take it apart and clean it up, it will just drop shut. Look, this is just an excellent big knife. Now when I keep saying big, let's let's find out. So tip to tail. What are we talking about? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and three quarters inches long. I like big knives. That is not an issue for me. If you look at the way this thing locks into my hand, it is really stellar and I have more than enough handle sticking out the end. There's plenty of grip here. For push cuts, 
it is just marvelous. Uh, the nice top of this blade is super smooth. Uh, it has a little bit of an edge to it here. It's not rounded. Um, so if you needed to, you could even use this with a Firestone and do a good job of it. Look, this is just a great knife. Um, for what I paid, or for what anyone would pay, for an S35VN and titanium knife, uh, this is comparable in price with most uh, Kaisers at this level, only it's a little better. Now, I have a lot of Kaiser knives. You haven't seen them yet, but you will. This has better fit and finish. It has a more interesting design. Uh, it has multi-row bearings instead of single row bearings. The milling on the inside of the titanium is such that the knife is exceptionally light for its size. I mean, this is a knife on side on on par, excuse me, with the Kaiser Mjolnir, but it weighs a lot less. This is just a great knife. So let's take a look at it for size, just for fun, before we go. Here is the Rat Model One, as you can see. The uh, the new concept is actually bigger. Uh, the blade, if we go handle to handle here, um, there's about a quarter inch or eighth inch more blade at the end, so it is bigger than the Rat 1. And of course, for size, here is the Rat 2, and it just dwarfs that. This is a big knife. It really is. It's a big knife with a beautiful S35 VN blade. I keep saying that because, to me, that's important. Blade material is important to me, and I like a knife that is made out of a material that I'm not going to have to futz with. If you look down here, uh, they did this plunge right here, and then there's a little bit of cutaway. Now, I am not comfortable getting my finger in there, but some of you with more normal sized fingers might be, but it allows for easy sharpening, and this thing is razor sharp from the factory. I mean, just stupid sharp. Uh, it is very thin behind the edge because it is this high flat grind. Can you tell I'm happy? <laughs> I am. This is a spectacular addition to the collection. This is the kind of knife that's going to get a lot of pocket time because it is simple and straightforward, and yet there is a fair amount of thoughtfulness put into this engineering that you don't get often, and you should. For your money, you really should. Once that, excuse me while I stutter. Once again, this is the Kevin John Venom new concept. Don't know why it's called that. But that's where we are. It is a spectacular knife in titanium and S35VN. It is a big knife, and it is one of my new favorites. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this or any of the knives I share on the channel, feel free to ask down in the comments. Feel free to like this video. That makes me happy. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you as a regular here on the channel. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.